Checking in with Mike Yanni one final time. Hanging out with our friends at Golf Tech this morning. Uh, perfecting your swing, Michael. And you said that you had an answer to a question that a lot of golfers always have regarding the driving range and the real course. Yes. Did you know that the golf balls don't go as far on a driving range? Well, I, I had no idea. I thought they were just, I thought they're cheap balls. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I thought that's why they don't go as far. No, that's not the case, actually. Uh, I want to bring Derek in here, one of the uh, personal coaches here at Golf Tech. Why do the golf balls not go as far in a driving range? A lot of them, they actually use limited flight golf balls so that they don't go through the range and don't go into property and everything else. So they use a limited flight ball, which actually shows you a lot less distance than you'd actually receive on, get on the golf course. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Here absolutely. I thought it was just why I'm pretty bad still, but uh, if you kind of get frustrated on the driving range, there could be a good reason. Absolutely Maybe just correct. The balls that you're absolutely using. Absolutely correct. Exactly now, right. one of the things I've, I've learned here this morning uh, is that you can actually come here and practice. Correct. Yes, we encourage own. people to practice in between lessons. That's part of our mandate. If you can see what you're doing, the chances of getting better are going to improve dramatically. So anyone can come in here and actually use this facility and yes, then they we, can we watch themselves. We encourage you to come in and use the facility all the time, but the practice in this button box is unique to us, and it actually shows you a swing as you're doing it, okay. and then you can play that particular swing in slow motion, in frame by frame, and you can actually see whether you're doing something right or wrong that we worked on the day before. Right, so I took a number of swings here, and this keeps replaying the last one that I did. Correct. So you can analyze yourself, because I mean, it's one thing to go to the driving range, but you can't see yourself, so no. how do you know if you're getting better? That's exactly right. So if I push this, we, we just go to, to regular speed, then I can go slow motion. From here, what we're doing actually is going frame by frame. So ah, as we okay. pulse this right here, we we're just working on the position of your club face yep. on the way back. And we notice that your club face is actually, if you look at this, it's pointing down. Right, we need that right. club face to be actually at this angle right here. So we can actually get you to feel that you're going to hit the ball square. Now, not only the clubs, but the balls themselves. I mean, you have, there's a virtual course there that shows you how far you hit it. Correct. And you can actually bring up stats. Absolutely. Every time you practice, we want you to use this to, to, to improve. But they'll actually show you at the end of a practice session exactly how you did. Average all your scores and everything else, too. Does it talk, talk about the spin the ball and all that kind yes, of stuff as well? Yes, back spin, side spin, launch angle, wow. speed. So we fit golf clubs from that way, but we also help you play golf that right. way, too. So everything from the actual, your swing, uh, the, how the ball travels through the air, you can Absolutely. learn it all here at Golf Tech. Lots to take in, yeah. uh, and I highly recommend it if you're looking to head out uh, the spring on the golf course. You may want to come in here and uh, take a few lessons and, you know, get, uh, get geared up for the season ahead. Hopefully it's a long one. Yeah, good stuff. Tune up your golf swing and then hit the course flying.